Oz Jacksonville looks toward the future and autonomous vehicles. First responders are making sure they're ready to keep people safe. New this new Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace shows us the new training underway right now and when you can expect to see driverless cars on our roads. Right now, JSO and JFRD are inside these vehicles. They're actually test driving it right now just to make sure they're familiar with every aspect of this vehicle. For the first time, police and fire crews are getting their hands on these self-driving vehicles. These are only prototypes, but it gives them an idea of what they'll be facing in an emergency. While JTA is still in the design process, CEO Nat Ford says he wants their input. And as we're looking at the manufacturers and determining what vehicle is the best vehicle for our program, we wanted to make sure that our firefighters as well as the police department they have input in terms of vehicle design. JSO and JFRD will learn how to get to the emergency equipment on the vehicle, what a typical engine looks like, the interior layout so they know where the passengers are sitting if they get trapped, and how to disconnect the power. Challenges that we may face if we respond to one of these vehicles, whether it be uh, on fire or maybe uh, a vehicle accident. JTA says they're still about three years out before you'll see these vehicles on the streets of downtown Jacksonville. This is what they're expected to look like. Ford says they'll mainly be on Bay Street. Got work to do. It's a three year uh, process. Uh, the first step will be dedicated lanes, obviously, but on this journey, uh, ultimately, you're talking about full autonomy of vehicles operating on our streets. And ahead of five, we'll explain how JTA is paving the way for other public transportation systems across the country. Reporting downtown, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News Jax.